Filmora 12 has a new feature called the Adjustment Layer. An Adjustment Layer allows you to make changes to the clips below the Adjustment Layer. Let's dive straight into this video. With the Adjustment Layer, you can change things like color, the position, transform, compositing and etc. But before I go on, there will be some caveats when it comes to the transform section of the adjustment layer. By having an adjustment layer, you can make changes not just to one particular clip, you can make changes to several clips at once. One great advantage of having an adjustment layer is that you can save it as a custom preset and you can use it for future projects as well. And you can rename your preset to anything that you like. Let's call this a dark gloomy. When you're working on your next project and you want to have the same dark gloomy effect, you just got to go to your adjustment layer and drag your adjustment layer to whatever clips that you want to have that effect. We are getting ahead about ourselves. Let's show you how to get about this. Let me remove this adjustment layer first. It is best to use your adjustment layer after you have done color correction to your individual clips rather than just slapping it on. The reason for this is because certain clips might have different tones and colors that might not work when you just slap an adjustment layer for that. One great tip is to use the color match tool so that all your clips will have a certain kind of look. By selecting this, you can match it to any clip that you like and Filmora will make that adjustment. Of course, you can tone it down. This clip is a little bit too dark uh, for my liking. Now once you have done that, then we can look into the adjustment layer. Let me just remove this adjustment layer first. And let's turn this back on. Let's bring back the dark gloomy adjustment layer into this one here and let's move this aside. As you can see, you can move and trim your adjustment layer just like you would trim and adjust any video clip or media. I have this adjustment clip now over this area. Now, if I do not want this adjustment clip to go flow over to this section, I could actually just remove it. So that is the benefit of having an adjustment clip. It makes adjusting all your clips into a certain look much quicker. You can stack multiple adjustment layer on top of one another. And you will see something like this. And the reason why you see this is because an adjustment layer allows you to adjust the transform as well. And there are keyframes that allows you to adjust that transform. When it comes to transform, the thing to remember is that transform will work on the adjustment layer itself, which means you are moving the adjustment layer. You're not moving the layers below. So this is something to remember. You can see the change by the position X and Y as this moves. So how do we create this adjustment layer? Let me move this aside. Go to adjustment layer and drag an adjustment layer to anywhere you want. And click on the adjustment layer. And for simplicity sake, I will just go to color. And uh, there are several things you can do here. You can add things like vignette, the colors, the vibrance, and etc. There are also LUT presets that you can use. I'm going to use this warm, maybe Mad Max kind of color and make changes here. Let's go to the beginning of this adjustment layer. I set a keyframe and I'm going to change this to move outside of the frame. All right. So you can have something that looks very nice, like something the before and after effect. Move the playhead a few frames to the right. Set another keyframe. Reset it, set it to half, and you get an effect like this. And if you want to wipe across the frame, set another keyframe, and then set one final keyframe for it to wipe across the entire screen. And you get an effect like this. One other thing, it works with effects as well. So let's move this out of the way. Get another adjustment layer. So let's grab an effect. Let's look for a border. We place the border. Let's put it on a different 
track, then it's on. So you have border across the several clips. And you can stack up your uh, adjustment layer over multiple clips with different uh, adjustment layers below that, each having their own effect. You can color code your adjustment layers so that you know what they represent. You may have some, say, colored blue for an effect like this. And you may have, say, a different type of color so that you recognize when you put in an adjustment layer what it does. I hope that this video has helped you. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when Filmora 12 is released, click on the subscribe button as well. In the meantime, check out what's on the screen for the next Filmora tip.